Hello friends, Abby here. Um, I just wanted to jump in here really fast and add this little clip into the front of this video because I wanted to share some really, really exciting news. Um, I did already get to kind of explain everything on my Twitter, but I know that not everyone follows me there. So I'm very, very excited to get to announce that I am going to be one of the co-hosts of the Darker Shades of Read Along. So this is actually going to be a three-month read-along that is going to be taking place starting in August through October uh, and I am going to be helping to co-host the first month. So if you guys would like to, I would love if you joined me and a couple other co-hosts uh, to read this book and then we will be having our live show on August 25th. I will have all of the information as well as a link Link to all of our co-hosts as well as the official Twitter handle for the readathon uh, and just like all information that you could possibly need. I'm also going to be live tweeting while I read this book in probably the next week or so and I will also be using the official hashtag so definitely again check all the information out down in the description box. There's gonna be giveaways and lots of fun little things that you can win and there is just gonna be so much much bookish community chatter in the in the chats. Um, I am again only going to be a co-host for the first one but I'm still definitely going to be very much a part of the chat for the other two. So again I highly recommend that you guys come and join us. I'm so excited for this entire thing to start to, to take place and I just really hope that you guys will join in on our fun. So yeah um, I again will have all the information you will need down below and then now, enough blabbering on to the Booktubeathon reading vlog. Hello everyone, happy Sunday night, and welcome to my Booktubeathon vlog of 2018. It is the night before the Booktubeathon technically starts. Booktubeathon starts at midnight on your time at midnight between Sunday and Monday night. Um, now I am a full-time worker, so I unfortunately cannot stay up until midnight to start reading and, and all that so I will be starting tomorrow um, but I thought that tonight would be a kind of good way to go ahead and at least get the vlog started kind of reiterate all the books that I plan on reading this week and kind of letting you know kind of the breakdown of how the week is gonna work because it's gonna be kind of a crazy week the first book that I'm going to be starting to read tomorrow is blue lily lily blue by Maggie Steve Otter this is the third book in the Raven Cycle series and this is the book that won the coin toss. So this is the book that I'm going to be reading first. And then after that I plan on jumping right into The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. This is the fourth and final book in that Raven Cycle quartet. This one is going to complete the challenge of trying to wear the same hat while reading one book. So one of the next challenges is to read a book with green on the cover and for this one I was originally using The Last of August by by Brittany Cavallaro with a sequel to A Study in Charlotte but I did unfortunately not really enjoy that book and did not finish it so obviously I cannot continue in its sequel so I decided to exchange that with American Street by Ibi Zaboy. This is kind of cheating a little bit. You can see there is like flakes of green like every once in a while this is definitely not a huge co green cover and there's a little bit on the spine as well I'm cheating but I really did want to read this book and I and all the other ones were just a little too large and started series that I really did not want to start a full series and not be able to continue it this month so I might be cheating a little bit the color is not the best but you know what we're going with so then one of the challenges is to read a book to movie adaptation and then to go and watch the movie so I am reading A Boy, A Bear, and a Balloon and then I'm going to be going and seeing the Christopher Robin movie that this is inspired by. See? It says inspired by Christopher Robin. 
so it's perfect. Another challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do and for this one I had chose Ink Mistress by Audrey Colthurst. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mention these together because one of the one of the actual one of the last like real challenges is to read a book with a beautiful spine and this is just one of my favorite spines that I actually have on my shelf right now but since this is the second book in a series I do need to read the first one and the last challenge is to just read one more book to get to seven books that is why I'm going with the Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan for that and then the Throne of Fire again by Rick Riordan for the beautiful spine this is the first and second book in the Cain Chronicles which is Rick Riordan's Egyptian mythology so one of the nice things is that all four of these books in particular I have available to me on Scribd on audio so I am definitely going to be doing a back and forth between book and audio for these of like a physical reading and listening that way I can try to get through a lot of these as quick as possible I think because I'm gonna have so much downtime especially Friday Saturday Sunday and then I'm off on Tuesday Wednesday I'm really hoping that I will be able to get all these challenges done I feel confident nervous but confident um so we will see what happens and i will be documenting the entire time so i hope that you guys enjoy i am about to go ahead and head to bed for the night because i have to be up early for work and the next clip will most likely be after i get off of work kind of letting you guys know how far i got into the reading game while i was at work so i hope that you guys have an awesome night and i will see you tomorrow hi guys it is monday afternoon welcome to the official day one of the booktubeathon so i was able to start listening to my first book on audiobook while i was at work today um i have been listening to blue lily lily blue by maggie steve otter um i was listening to it on double speed so i was able to get to chapter 15 page 122 while i was at work um i had to take quite a few breaks because i had some parties and stuff to take care of um while i was doing like paperwork and emails and stuff i was just listening to that um so it is just a little after three o'clock tonight it's gonna be a little hard I'm really 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 wanting to get this book done tonight and I think it's really doable this book is 391 pages so I have about 280 pages left to go tonight. My parents and I are going to be going out to dinner and to go see a Hotel Transylvania 3 and we're super excited. Um, but we are going to do all of that at about 5. So I want to try to get as much reading done between now and 5 as I can. And then we'll come home and finish it. Um, when I tonight before I go to bed so that way I can start tomorrow with the next book because I want to be able to try my best to stay on track to do at least either um, if not one book a day to get one book done today that way I can try to get multiple done tomorrow that's kind of the goal I am enjoying this so far just a continuation of the first two books it's all about blue and the rich private school boys um and I'm just it's, it's like a fun time this the whole atmosphere of this book is really cool I'm really liking kind of how different it is it's really like spooky it really deals with like landlines and curses and a lot of um and psychics and there's a lot of fun stuff like that hello Oh, so I realized that I forgot to vlog before I left for the movies because both my parents got home and it was kind of just like a rush to get ready and get out the door for dinner that way we'd make our movie in time so first of all Hotel Transylvania 3 is really really cute I think the first one will always be my favorite so this one definitely was not like my favorite but it was really cute though let me explain to you guys really fast where I am at with L Blue Lily Lily Blue so before I left I was able to get to chapter 38 page 293 so I have just about a hundred pages left so I am definitely going to be reading and finishing this before I go to bed tonight um, so I will be catching up with you guys at least one more time tonight before I go to bed just to give you guys kind of my thoughts because tomorrow morning I will be jumping into the Raven King and I don't want to forget to talk about this one in its entirety before I learn what happens in the final book I finished it and I'm so tired <laughs> um okay so 
I had given the first one, I think like a 3.5 or something like that. The second one, a 4. And I think with this one, I'm going to give it another 3.5. It's like, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not like loving it, loving it. And I'm just, I, I just, I don't feel the need to want to give it a 4 or a 5 out of star five stars. Oh, I'm all over the place. Um, I thought that it was okay. Like it's kind of it's kind of creepy. The whole ley line concept thing is cool. The characters are confusing me a little bit though, and I'm just I'm not like in love with the series. But like I definitely do want to like see the series through to the end. I'm getting the same like vibes of just needing to continue the series as I did with the Shatter Me series. So I think that they are very similar in that prospect of just like they're not my faves, but I definitely want to see them through to the end. And that is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. And I'm super tired, so I'm going to bed now. Um, but I did finish it, and I wanted to let you guys know that. That I finished my first book on the first day of the readathon. Good morning, everyone. Happy day two of the Booktubeathon. Happy Tuesday. So, I wanted to kind of go ahead and lay out my plans for the next two days since these are my off days. So I have nothing to do for the next two days except that I'm going to get my nails done this afternoon. That is literally it. So I am going to be using these next two days to try to read as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to set the like realistic goal that I would like to try to get um, at least like a book and a half done and maybe two books done a day. We will see. If I can get five books done in the next two in the next two days, like four 48 hours that'd be even more amazing that way I can just pretty much be done with the book tooth on in three days I doubt that will happen though but a girl can dream it'd be amazing um so okay I at first I was going to go ahead and just jump into the Raven King this morning but I'm actually going to be wanting to save this to save this for this afternoon because I because I do have this on audiobook as well and I want to be able to be listening to my audiobook while I'm driving to and from my nail up. So I decided I'm going to be going ahead and starting with American Street by Ibby Zaboy this morning. This is the book that completes my green on the cover so I'm going to be definitely doing this this morning and then after I finish I'm like I said going to be jumping into The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the one where I do have to be wearing the same hat while reading this book so I am going to need to find like a baseball hat or something. Realistic goal for today to get this done. My goal for tomorrow would be to read Ink Mistress and then The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. So then that way the only other books I will need to read is this one which I can bust out at any time and then I will have The Throne of Fire to read which is the second book by Rick Riordan. I do not have the audiobook for this one so I'm just gonna go ahead head downstairs get some breakfast and I'm just gonna sit down and read this book um and just enjoy it. Hello so it is a little bit later uh and I have just finished American Street by Ibby's a boy. Great, great book. My goodness. So as I, I never really actually talked about like what this book is really all about. Um, this book is a, about a girl and her mother who uh, at the very beginning of it are traveling from Haiti to America. And unfortunately, when they are going through customs, her mother winds up getting detained. It winds up having to continue on at this journey once she gets past customs alone and gets to Detroit where she starts living with her aunt, her mother's sister, and her three cousins. And she winds up getting mixed up into, um, into some more gang-related, drug-related activities that she 100% just that she does not want to be a part of kind of this really crucial point in her life that she's hit where she's having to live her life away from the one person that she wants to most and she's trying to make these decisions and in ways that she has never had to and she's trying to pretty much become an American and show all the students that she's going to school with that she is American and she's not just Haitian and that she belongs with her cousins. I was having a hard time getting into it at the very beginning to, to be honest just because 
because I am I have just noticed with my reading over the past couple months that I am very very quickly moving away from enjoying contemporaries just I love living in either the fantasy or historical fiction worlds those are where I get most of my pleasure out of reading from and it just is what it is but this book really really quickly it drew me in anyways and I just think that first of all the writing itself is just fabulous and this is her debut novel and I am she has another book that's actually coming out later in August called Pride and I'm super excited to pick it up now even more than I was before because I read this book and I just really really like again her writing style I like how just honest she is and so I am giving this book a four out of five stars I thought that it was really good and it was a really easy read it was um this book was just under or just a little over 300 pages once I actually got like sitting down and stuff I read it in about two and a half hours so awesome start to today's reading um again like I said it's just so now it is just a little past 11 30 ish um so I am going to be taking a little bit of a break of reading really quickly to get some food and to catch up on some uh booktubeathon videos from yesterday so are like ones that were put up last night from yesterday so I'm gonna do that and then I will be jumping into the last book in the Raven Cycle Quartet and I'm super excited all right so we are back upstairs in my room um, I am going to be getting started with the Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. I have about two hours or so before I have to head to my nail appointment, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and get this book started. Um, I am actually going to be listening to it on audiobook for a little bit because I'm going to be coloring for a little bit just because I want some like relaxation coloring time I just love to color I think it's really fun and it's a good way to relax and I don't get to do it honestly very often so I'm gonna color a page before I get up to get ready for my nail appointment so that's what I'm gonna do all right so I currently am about 50 pages into the book I am wearing my Savannah baseball hat that's what I'm gonna be wearing while I am reading this book um and I Ooh. Uh, and I decided since I have about 30 minutes to go and I am ready to get my nails done that I was going to uh, fix my bookshelves up a little bit while I continue to listen. Um, I will go ahead and show you. I have like three books and will soon be four once I finish The Raven King that um, I am done reading that I need to find homes for onto my shelves. And I also just want to kind of reorganize them a little bit so that is what I am going to do right now I'll go ahead and show you what they look like right now and then I'll show you what I've changed them to in a minute okay so I actually want up not changing it too much I did wind up bringing all of those up from down there to up here so I like switched like these were up here so I move those down and then move those over um, and then I kind of just like move things around a little bit so now blue lily lily blue is here and there's enough room for the Raven King to go there I went ahead and closed the books up here so that way I could bring a fire and stars that was up there down here so that way ink mistress can now go beside it because this is the one that this is the shelf I have where this one is for the most part companionship series except for this one or just same authors that's kind of the big thing um but those these are direct sequels to each other but I just really liked the coloring so I thought that they went well on this shelf so I have all of those and then I need to move I just have so many mugs honestly at this point um so then I want it moving because these two were down here so that's why I moved them to make room for the rest of this series so these are here um I really like how like dark this entire little section is so I really think I'm gonna want to continue that because I am gonna be getting a copy of our dark duet to go with this one I did read those um last month 
and then I need to get the hardback copy of the eye of Shatter Me so that way this one will officially match Unravel Me and Ignite Me and then I also need to get Restore Me. I still have about 15 minutes before I have to leave so I'm just gonna kind of continue hanging out, continue reading. Uh, and then I will be going to get my nails done. All right, friends, I am finally back from getting my nails done. It did take me a little bit longer than I thought that I would, but I am back. So, let me show you what they look like. I thought that it would be really fun to do more of a fun nautical look for this nail. Um, so on this one, I have the wheel, steering wheel, the helm, whatever that thing is called. Um, a full glitter nail a little starfish an anchor and then a half and then and then a half glitter and i just think that it's really really cute and really really fun for my beach trip and then i was wearing that hat um the entire time that i was listening to the audiobook while i was driving to and from but i am not going to be wearing it anymore for the duration of reading this book because i now have a headache from where the rim was sitting on my forehead. I don't wear hats very often and that is why I have a pretty big head and I actually have a little mark from where it was sitting. Um, so most hats don't fit me. Um, so I want to give myself a little bit of a headache. So I'm not, I don't want to continue to do that. So that hat is with me in spirit. In fact, it's in this room. So I feel like that should count. Sorry, um, but I am going to continue reading it though because this book has gotten very good and I do definitely want to finish it tonight. So I'm actually picking up the physical copy now to continue reading. So unfortunately wearing that hat for a lot of today did give me a headache that I have been unable to shake. So after, so I just got finished um, eating dinner and watching two episodes of Rain with my parents um, and I'm going to be actually going ahead and heading to bed. Um, I was able to get to chapter 35, page 247, um, in The Raven King, so I am just a little over halfway, um, and I will be continuing this book tomorrow. Um, so the good thing is, is tomorrow I should hopefully be able to get the two and a half books done. I was gone with my for my nail appointment for about three hours because it took me an hour to get to and from and then it took about two hours for Gina and me to do my nails because we just spend way too long talking and laughing and having a good time, uh, which is fine, but I was there a little longer than I planned to be. It normally takes about an hour to do my nails. Uh, so <laughs> there's that. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So um, I went up getting up a little early this morning and I finished The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. Yay! Um, I'm giving it a four out of five stars. I really, really liked this one a lot. It's really funny. It's like I wasn't a huge fan of one and three, but two and four, um, the Dream Thieves and this one were fantastic. Like I really enjoyed the ending and I think that and the last chapter of this book is so like the epilogue is so fitting for the fact that she's planning on writing like another trilogy about certain characters i think it just works out really really well um so ronan and adam both have my heart to the both the two of them are absolutely my favorite characters out of the entire cast in this book i think that it's just great i like the sacrifices that were made in this book i like the seriousness that really seemed to go down at like the last 50 pages I just think that uh, Maggie just had a really good way of writing all of that. Like, I just feel like it ended so well. Next book that I want to read today, where is it? It's like under here somewhere, is Ink Mistress by Audrey Colthurst. So I'm going to be reading that next. Um, but I am going to be heading downstairs for some breakfast. And I think I am going to be going to Target either today or Friday. I haven't decided which one yet because I need to pick up some little last bit of things before the trip on Saturday. And I'm super excited. Um, but yes, so I'm going to be reading this one. This book is almost 400 pages, so it's going to take me a little bit to get through this one today, but considering it's almost 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, it'd be, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to get it done by like 1, 2, um, and then I would love to be able to get at least half of 
the Red Pyramid done and this book is almost 500 pages so I would like to be able to read at least maybe like 250 pages of this one today. Hello so it is a little bit later and I have finished Ink Mistress by Audrey Colthurst. Um, it is a little bit later than I had hoped finished that I would be finishing this. I don't remember if I had said one or two, but only a little bit later. Uh, I did wind up going to Target to get a few things, and then I wound up having to go back to Target because one of the things wound up not working for me. I wound up, I got some dry shampoo. Um, I have not used it yet though, and I really need to because my hair is disgusting. Um, but I got it, and then I got home and opened the lid, and the little like spray nozzle was missing so I had to go back and get a new one and I was very upset but it's fine I finished and it was really really good I wound up giving this book a four out of five stars I just I really really like this a book a lot I just thought that it was really like just cute I also really like a lot how this book deals with time but not like in the way that you would think like it's just it's really cool. I really like the concept a lot. Um, all right, Lily, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. And I just really like all, just overall, just the, the whole storyline that this book had. I think that it was really unique. All right, my friends. So I have put in some dry shampoo, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Even though, okay, I really want your opinion on dry shampoo because this dry shampoo, it works out really well because it definitely takes away a lot of the oils, but I feel like it just puts such a big white cast in my hair. And this is the Batiste Original. So if any of you guys have any dry shampoos that you guys would um, suggest for darker haired ladies like myself please let me know um, but yes so I was just getting ready to you know sit down to start listening to the red pyramid only to mistakenly get on YouTube really quickly and find that Shane Dawson has put up his first part of the Jeffree Star um, sequence that he has. And it's gonna be like a five part series. I am trash for Shane Dawson, can I just say. And it's a 43 minute long video. So I am taking a 43 minute break from reading and I'm gonna sit here in color and watch The Secret World of Jeffree Star. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't even really have big feelings or care about Jeffree Star. I just love Shane so much that I'm willing to watch a video for 45 minutes about someone I don't really care about while I color. So I'm gonna do that um, and I will catch up with you guys later once I've finished and I've actually gotten started reading uh, The Red Pyramid and I'll let you know my thoughts. Hello, happy Friday. This is day five of the Booktubeathon. Um, I know I did not really talk to you guys at all yesterday. I had a bit of a more slumpier day yesterday. I wasn't really in the biggest reading mood so I read a little bit of The Red Pyramid yesterday and then I actually just wound up finishing it this morning so I now only have two more books I need to read to complete the readathon um, and one of them is super tiny so I really just have one. The other two books I need to read is A Boy, A Bear, A Balloon. Um, this is inspired by the Christopher Robin movie that is com that is now out um, and it is by Brittany Rubio, Rio, Rubiano? I'm not sure. And then the other one is The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan, which is the sequel to The Red Pyramid. Um, and this one is actually a lot smaller than that one. This one is only about 430-ish pages, while this one is just a little over 500. So about a 70 page difference. So I do think that's going to make a pretty big difference in how quickly I get this book done. I did really, really enjoy this book, let me say. Um, I wanted giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. Rick Riordan can really do no wrong. I just enjoy his reading so much. His writing skills are fantastic. So I am very excited to be getting into this book. And I do foresee myself um, finishing this book most likely today, between today and tomorrow. Um, I am actually right in the middle of doing some packing right now because we leave for the beach tomorrow morning at like 6. 6 30 in the morning so I need to make sure I have everything ready so I have already packed 
um, a lot of my electronics and stuff like my laptop and all of that. I am bringing my bigger camera with me. I just don't think I'm going to be bringing the Rode mic. But I now need to decide what books I want to bring with me to the beach. So we're going to be there from Saturday to Saturday, but we are leaving Saturday. So it's only, we're only going to have like half days. So I, but I am me, so I am going to be audio booking my way there and my way back. So that is for sure happening. Do you know for sure that I am going to be bringing Wind Witch by um, Susan Dennard? This is the book I need to be able to read to get to my acceptables mark in uh, Transfiguration. So I can't even start the other books until I read this one. So this one is definitely coming. Yeah. So next I'm going to be bringing this entire trilogy, the Queen's Poisoner Trilogy. Um, series it's not a trilogy series by Jeff Wheeler the Queen's Poisoner uh, the King's Daughter the Thief's Daughter and the King's Traitor so those are gonna be coming and I do have all three of those on audiobook but I really don't know how much reading versus listening I'm actually gonna do so I don't mind and the good thing is since we're driving I can take up as much space in the car as I need so I'm, I don't mind bringing this many books The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan this is the third and final book in the Egyptian mythology so that book is definitely coming go ahead and bring Rebel Spring by Morgan Rose this is the second book in the Falling Kingdom series Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Allerace Song. Yeah, those are the six books, one, two, three, four, five, seven books, excuse me, that I'm going to bring. Um, if I do not get to all of them, again, not the end of the world. But it would be cool if I can get to all seven of these. I am going to go ahead and actually start listening to this on audiobook while I continue packing because I need to get all my clothes and everything packed. So I'm going to do that and then I will catch back up with you guys in a little bit and let you know my thoughts and how things are going <laughs> oh my gosh this is so cute y'all I just read a boy a bear a balloon and this book was so cute obviously it was inspired by Christopher Robin so this must be pretty similar to what the actual movie is going to be about um I'm going to assume there's gonna be a little bit more of a plot of course than this like 15 page book actually had but this was so cute um I'm very nervous because my friend one I'm not being able to go out to go to the movies with me tonight to be able to go and see this movie so I don't know when I'm going to have time to be able to go and see the movie because we leave for the beach early tomorrow morning and I know going to the movie theater at the beach is not really on anybody's list so I might not be able to go and see it which means I might not fully complete this challenge by the time Booktubeathon is over which is too bad but it is what it is um so now the only book that I need to actually finish is the um Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan I am currently on page if I can get it open 55 uh, I again I'm going to be in the car for five hours tomorrow and I do have this book on audiobook so I'm definitely going to be listening to that and I do listen to most of my audiobooks on either 1.5 or 2 speed like double speed so I will either get it done by the time I'm at the beach or very close um, and I will definitely be able to continue listening to it while I get unpacked and everything because the rest of the family will not be getting to the beach house until a later in the afternoon so I know I'll have some time so definitely plan on finishing it tomorrow so then I will have finished a day early yeah good morning happy day six of the readathon um it is Saturday it is super early we are going to be leaving for the beach in about an hour and a half so I am up just doing some last little bit packing and then going ahead and kind of getting ready for the day so that way I will not have to put on makeup and everything when we get there because we will be going out to dinner tonight and seeing the family for the first time in a while so I want to make sure that I am already ready I'm so angry because I'm not having a stupid outbreak and it looks so bad and I'm so upset. So today's focus is going to be reading or listening to The Throne of Fire uh, by Rick Riordan today. So that way um, I can hopefully have it finished either by the time I get to the beach house or just very soon after. So that is the goal. Um, I am 
excited to be going on vacation uh and i am going to be ending this vlog on sunday so tomorrow at the end of the readathon and then i will be restarting my reading vlogs back on monday um and then and this and so not so so even though I will be so even though I will be at the beach today and tomorrow, I'm not really going to be showing any footage of the house or anything or just being at the beach um until the next re until until the next reading vlog. I'm going to be going and getting ready and I will see you guys either on the road or once we get to the beach. I'm super excited. Hello guys. Happy afternoon. I am in paradise. Finally, we have arrived and we are kind of just in the middle of doing a lot of unpacking and stuff right now. Um, I have claimed my bedroom. Um, my Myself and my parents actually are the first ones to arrive out of everyone. So we are waiting on the rest of the people to get here. So I don't know if this is actually going to wind up being my, my bedroom or not. It's a really nice bedroom out of all the ones that we have. So um, we'll see what winds up happening uh but but yeah so i'm here this room is gorgeous we are gonna be having a really really good time i'm super super excited i wound up not getting as much of the uh the road of fire done as i would have liked because my mom and i wound up listening to a murder podcast uh it's called my favorite murder i think is what it's called and it's hilarious uh, these two ladies are the ones that host it and i have fallen in love with my mom's one actually introduced me to them so i wound up listening to that most of the way down so i'm a little behind um i really said that i wanted to get this book done today so since it is a little bit after four o'clock, the rest of the peeps are not supposed to be getting here until about six because they have a little bit of further drive than we did. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs and read. Um, again, like I said, I'm not gonna be really getting into the actual beach house in this video. So definitely stay tuned for my next vlog and and all that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs and read a little bit i just wanted to uh say hello <laughs> um and yeah so my view i'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek at least so my room does not have the best view as you can see mine is um actually stopped by the dune but we do have a lovely pool as well as a hot tub over there but it is really muggy outside so my windows are a little steamed but there is a, a hot tub um and then that is our entryway to the beach right there now it is super cool this house is amazing so definitely guys remember to stay tuned for next week's vlog that way you guys can see a grand tour of this beautiful beach house um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs and start and continue reading and i hope to have it finished before the rest of the family gets here we'll see though so i will catch you guys up probably a little bit later in the evening hello y'all happy sunday happy last day of the book tube thon well uh <laughs> it is kind of later in the afternoon but i have finished the throne of fire by rick riordan so that means that i have officially finished the book tubathon now the one thing that i did not do was i did not have a chance to go see christopher robin and that's not gonna happen this week it's just not something that i had time to do with all of my prepping for vacation and so that kind of stinks but it is what it is um so yes uh that is going to be it for this readathon i really don't have anything else really to say or do and unfortunately i realized that this reading vlog was actually not the most like stimulating or fun but you know what can you do sometimes that happens i am really really excited though to start vlogging tomorrow because then i really get to show you guys all the fun stuff about vacation and everything so i'm really excited about that i think it's gonna be great um but i will go ahead and show you guys really quickly what book i'm going to be reading next um because i think that'd be fun because i am so because because even though the book tubeathon is done the newts readathon we're only down one week we still got three 
more weeks to go. Spleen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. So I'm super excited to be starting that tonight. Uh, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna be getting done because we are all just kind of out chilling on the balcony right now. We're gonna be having dinner and then tonight is family game night. We're super excited. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, as well as hitting the subscription box down below if you guys would like to join this family. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.